Okay, so the next stage is the hop back and the power flow. So what the hop back is, is a hop straining vessel. So in here, we run our, our boiled, sterilized wort, our multi-flavored liquid, into this stainless tank inside here. And then we're going to add in more hops. These are aroma hops. So these are not the same types of hops that we've used in the boil to preserve the product. These are different hops of which we pick for their flavor, their specific flavor. You go out to the fields, you can rub them, you get lovely oils. Each different variety has a different flavor to it. We put them in there, maybe a few different varieties, depending on the recipe allow it to absorb, dilute those oils out of the hops into our wort, um, and then we run onto the next vessel. So it sits in there for about 40 minutes, just diluting, stewing like tea would. And then we run through our um, little toys behind us here. These are a couple of hop filters to hold back um, seeds and leaves or anything like that. And then we've got the power flow. This is where we're going to cool it down. So this is going to drop the temperature of our recently boiled wort right down to the temperature that we need it to be for our yeast to ferment at its optimum in the next stage of the process, which is fermentation.